cello bass players, you will rock your hand back and forth. Remember to keep your thumb in place. Cello bass, the purfling of your instrument is shown here. You'll take your left hand and lay it across the side of your instrument and you'll rock your second finger back and forth as shown. Notice the view from the back of your instrument. Your thumb should be straight as you rock your hand back and forth. Now we will turn on the metronome at quarter note equals 66. Bass and cello, you're gonna be using your left hand to slide up and down the fingerboard at the rhythm of triplet eighth notes. You'll notice how your thumb is moving as now well. Now we move on to step four. This is where we're gonna push the second finger down onto the string. The thumb will stay still, the thumb will be our anchor, and the second finger will slide about a half a step motion. And we'll go back and do our exercise where we go from D to D sharp, sliding our second finger, E to F, F to F sharp, F sharp to G, G to G sharp, and G sharp to A. So cellos and basses, you wanna get your thumb set and begin your rocking motion doing a triplet eighth note while you're bowing on the open D string. Notice your fingers are not touching the string and your thumb pivots and stays in place on the back of your instrument. Cello bass as we move on to step six, you're gonna place your bow on the D string and place your left hand along the purfling of your instrument. You're gonna rock back and forth using the second finger while you bow along the D string. Cello bass, we're now going to work on step seven. We're gonna do light harmonic pressure with our left hand on the D string. Make sure that your bow is moving at a whole note pace and you just slide the second finger gently back and forth across the string. Cello bass, we're now moving on to step eight. You're gonna place your second finger on the note F sharp and place your bow on the D string. And we're using a triple lit eighth note rhythm, rocking back and forth. Remember your bow is doing the whole note rhythm. Now you can see the shape of your hand, how your thumb and your fingers should be rocking back and forth. Also notice the placement of your thumb. It's going to be opposite the second finger. Now we'll continue with step eight. Notice the shape of the left hand. Second finger goes on F sharp. Now we're doing the motion of 16th notes. One E and a two E and a. Your bow is still moving at a whole note pace while you rock your second finger back and forth in the 16th note rhythm. Cello bass, congratulations, you've made it to step nine. We're gonna place our first finger back near the nut of our fingerboard, and we're gonna practice with our first finger. Triplet eighth note rhythm sliding from D sharp to E, E to F, F to F sharp, F sharp to G, G to G sharp, and G sharp to A. Remember to keep your metronome going and that bow arm is moving at a whole note speed. Shake out the hand and now we're gonna do 16th notes on the D string. Moving our finger in the 16th note motion from D sharp to E, E to F, F to F sharp, F sharp to G, G to G sharp, and G sharp to A. Let's check out what's going on with our thumb. The thumb moves along with the fingers as you change from one position to the next. <gasps> Congratulations, you have made it to step 10. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Yes. So we're gonna start out with the bass using our third finger. We're gonna place our third finger along the purfling of our instrument. And we're gonna practice our rocking motion 
with the third finger as we pull the bow across the D string, still doing our whole note bowing. You'll also notice that that third finger movement is the triple with eighth note along the perf link. And as we continue, still with our third finger, we're going to practice our sliding motion. Remember, we're doing harmonic pressure, so we're barely touching the string with that third finger as we move the bow across the D string at a whole note rhythm. Now we're moving on to the fourth finger. Bass player's got to have a strong fourth finger. And we're doing our sliding harmonic motion along the D string with our fourth finger. Back to our third finger. We're gonna place our third finger on G sharp. And we're doing our triplet eighth note rhythm, still on the D string. We're moving that third finger at the triplet eighth note rhythm. Now 16th note rhythm with the third finger. Let's get that fourth finger ready. And we're going to use G sharp again. Fourth finger is moving at the triple lit eighth note rhythm. And now we're doing our sixteenth note rhythm using the fourth finger. Get as much wiggle as you can. Alright guys, we're going to put it all together back to open D. And then we're going to do our first finger with as much wiggle as we can get. And we're moving on to the fourth finger, nice wiggle. G sharp on the second finger, nice wiggle. And fourth finger for A, nice wiggle on the D string. As you're coming back down the scale, you can wiggle even more. Congratulations, bass players. You now have beautiful vibrato. Cello players, welcome back. Congratulations, you made it to step 10. We're going to start with our third finger along the purfling of our instrument. We're doing a triple lit eighth note rhythm with our third finger rocking back and forth while we pull the bow at a whole note pace. Now let's do the fourth finger, pinky power. We place the fourth finger along the purfling and we're doing our triple lit eighth note rocking rhythm using our pinky back to third finger. We're going to do our harmonic pressure with our third finger sliding back and forth across the D string. Remember to take the thumb along for the ride and the bow arm is still moving at a whole note pace. It's time for fourth finger. So pinky power, fourth finger working up and down the fingerboard using our harmonic pressure. Now we're going to place the third finger on F sharp on the D string, and we're rocking at our triple lit eighth note rhythm. Good for you, pulling that bow across the string at a whole note space. Now we're moving on to our 16th note. Still quarter note equals 66. It's time for fourth finger, pinky power. Fourth finger is going down. Notice the other fingers are coming off of the string. That's just to give us a little more leverage with the fourth finger. And we're doing our triplet eighth note. And now we're moving on to our sixteenth note rhythm with our fourth finger. It's time to put it all together. All four fingers on the D string. Starting on open D. Using a nice wide vibrato as we work our way down the fingerboard. As we come back up the fingerboard, we're going to do our faster vibrato. You notice the fingers come off the string when we do that faster vibrato. Congratulations, cello players. You now have beautiful vibrato. Yay!